The Hanging Gardens of Babylon are one of the seven wonders of the ancient world listed by Hellenic culture. They are described as a remarkable feat of engineering, with great admiration by various ancient authors. The architectural wonder was a pyramid, consisting of four floors. The floors themselves were platforms on columns with the height of 50 cubits, that is about 27 meters. The lower floor had the shape of an irregular quadrangle to prevent water from seeping down. The surface of each platform was covered with a layer of reeds mixed with natural asphalt. Then two rows of bricks were placed on top, built with, with gypsum mortar and lead plates were placed above of everything to seal it all together. A fertile soil was poured on them, in which they planted seeds of various types of, of grass, flowers, bushes, trees and others. The height of the floors provided enough light and space for the plants. The pyramid was an ever-flowering hill. The gardens arose in steps, and in between there were steps covered with pink and white stone. The platforms themselves resembled terraces, each of which was an independent garden in itself. This is where the popular name, Hanging Gardens comes from. The greatest beauty was that all the terraces formed the whole creeping plants, and Leon has ran along the outer edge which passed to the next terrace, and thus united all the gardens into a single ensemble of trees, bushes, hedges, as well as avenues of flowers, into the interior of the columns, which supported the platforms were built, pipes by which water was brought day and night from the Euphrates to the uppermost terrace. Once, it flowered in streams and small waterfalls, watering the plants on the lower floors, the most amazing and rare types of plants bloomed in these fabulous gardens. Day and night slaves or laborers turned the water wheel, with leather vessels watering the hanging gardens with water from the Euphrates' cool and shady gardens, echoed by the murmur of water, seemed like a true wonder in the hot sandy land of Babylon. One of the ancient legends preserved to this day tells that the hanging gardens were built together with the spectacular palace known as the Miracle of Mankind by the Babylonian king Nebuchadnezzar, the second bearer of the scepter between 605 and 562 BC. However, the creation of the gardens is also attributed to the legendary queen Semiramis. It is for this reason that as an alternative name, they are called the Hanging Gardens of Semiramis. There are various theories about the existence of the queen herself. Some of them shared that she did not actually exist, but was a mythical projection of the real ruler of Babylon Shimura met. However, she has historically had much more modest achievements than those ascribed to Samir Ramos. If the topic is interesting to you, you can let us know if, if you want us to take a deep dive into it in a separate video. Also, be sure to watch our video, Babylon, the fall of the richest city of all time. The Hanging Gardens are the single contender in the seven wonders of the world category, whose true and exact location has remained a mystery to this day. No Babylonian texts have been found, in which we read about the gardens and no definite archaeological evidence has yet been found in Babylon itself. This leads the researchers to construct three main hypotheses hypothesis. One suggests that they are purely mythical and descriptions found in ancient Greek and Roman texts, including those of Strabo Diodora, Syphilis and Quintus Curtius Rufus recreate a romantic ideal of an oriental garden. The second hypothesis suggests that they were real and located in Babylon, but were destroyed sometime around the first century AD. The third hypothesis suggests that the legend is actually about the much more elaborate garden that the Assyrian king Seneca ribbed 704 to 681 BC, built in his capital Nineveh, on the Tigris River near, near the modern city of Mosul. Now, we will follow the trail of truth by first looking for, for evidence and descriptions in the classical literature. You can share in a comment before we get to the end. Which, which theory do you think is the most credible descriptions in, in classical literature? Descriptions of Babylon that have survived to this day in some form come from only five writers. However, these authors describe the dimensions of the Hanging Gardens, their overall design and irrigation methods and why they were built Flavius Josephus circa 37 to 100 AD. Actually quoted Barassa Sis who was a Babylonian priest of Marduk as sharing about the gardens. He spoke of the gardens in a work of his from about 290 BC. This is also the earliest known mention of the gardens. Barasa speaks of the reign of Nebuchadnezzar II and is in fact the only primary source 
that attributes the construction of the hanging gardens to this king by name. In his palace, he erected very high walls supported by stone pillars and planted the so-called pencil paradise, filling it with all kinds of trees, making the view like that of a mountainside legend has it that he did it for his queen because she had grown up in media and missed the side of greenery. Diodorus Syphilis, active circa 60 to 30 BC. Most likely drew on texts from the 4th century BC, as well as those of Clay Tardis. A historian of Alexander the Great, according to Diodorus, the gardens were the work of an Assyrian king. He describes the garden in detail, claiming that it was square in shape. It was arranged in steps, with the uppermost gallery being 50 cubits high. The walls made of bricks were 22 feet thick. The foundations of the steps sections were of adequate depth to allow the roots of even the largest trees to grow and the gardens were irrigated by the nearby Euphrates River Quintus Curtius Rufus 1st century AD. Is supposed to have used the same sources as Diodorus. He says that the gardens were built on top of a citadel, which was 20 stadia in circumference again and the Syrian king built them for his queen because she missed her homeland. The account of Strabo Ancient Greek and Roman Geographer, historian and traveler, circa 64 BC to AD 21 is probably based on the lost account of Ones a, a crisis from the 4th century BC. He describes that the gardens were irrigated by means of an R. Comedian screw bringing water from the Euphrates River evidence of historical existence. The absence of documents in modern Babylonian and sources makes us question whether the hanging gardens really existed or were only the fruit of poetic creation. There are many detailed writings available about the deeds of Nebuchadnezzar, but they do not mention a single garden. However, the gardens are believed to have still existed. When the later writers described them, it has also suggested that some of these accounts came from people who visited Babylon to this day. No archaeological evidence of the hanging gardens has been found in Babylon. It is possible that they exist under the Euphrates River, but at the moment archaeological activities cannot be safely carried out there during the reign of Nebuchadnezzar II, the river flowed east of its present position. Some scholars have expressed doubts that Neurosis may have attributed the gardens to Nebuchadnezzar II for political reasons and that he borrowed the legend from elsewhere. Identification with the garden of Sanaa Crib in Nineveh Oxford researcher Stephanie Daily offers us a hypothesis in which the hanging gardens of Babylon are actually the well-described and documented gardens built by the Assyrian king Sinek Garib, who ruled between 704 and 681 BC. They were part of his palace in Nineveh. According to Daly, over the centuries, the two sites were confused and the beautiful gardens of Snakrib's palace were attributed to Babylon and Nebuchadnezzar. She finds support for her claims in archaeological excavations that have undercovered traces of an extensive system of aqueducts data back to the time of Seneca Rib Daily suggests that only part of an 80 km 50 miles irrigation system of canals, dams and aqueducts was discovered thanks to which water was carried to Nova using water screws to raise it to the top level of the gardens Daily also finds support for her words in recent advances in the analysis of ancient Akkadian texts. Her main points are the name Babylon, which translates as Gate of the Gods, it is a name given to several Mesopotamian cities. Seneca renamed the city gates of Nineveh after gods, indicating that he intended for his city to be considered Babylon only Flavius Josephus names Nebuchadnezzar. The second is the king who built the gardens, but Nebuchadnezzar the second bequeathed us a rich collection of notes, nowhere in them is any mention of gardening or engineering work. Diodora, Cyclists and Quintus Curtius Rufus indicate an Assyrian king. Unlike Nebuchadnezzar, Sinek Arab left rich written accounts and there is archaeological evidence of his water engineering. Further archaeological evidence is found in the fact that, that his grandson, Asher Bana Paul depicted the mature garden on sculpted panels on the walls of his palace. Sina Crib called his palace and garden a wonder for all nations. He describes the construction and operation of screws to raise water to his garden. King Snack Arab's garden is known as a year-round oasis with the incredible greenery standing out against the summery dusty landscape. But let us return to the sculptured panels from Ashurbanipal's walls which show the garden in its maturity. One of the original sculptural panels and a drawing 
of another are held in the British Museum, but neither artifact is on public display noticeable in them are characteristics mentioned by a couple of authors. Parts of Senna Cribb's palace were excavated by Austin and Henry Laird in the mid-19th century. A plan of its citadel forms contours that match descriptions of Senna Cribb's garden, but its position is not confirmed. Unfortunately, a more detailed and further study is not possible due to the fact that the areas used as a military base to irrigate such a garden would require a water supply analogous to that of the city of Nineveh. The canal system stretched more than 80 kilometers into the nearby mountains. Seneca Rib was proud of the technologies he used and described them in great detail in his records from them. We learned that the automatic sluices were located in the upper reaches of the Bay V in Tennis River. The huge aqueduct crossing the valley of the ruin was built from over two million hewn stones, held together by stone arches and waterproof cement. Sinek, Arab king of the world, king of Assyria. At a great distance, I ordered an aqueduct to be directed to the vicinity of Nineveh, joining the waters over steep valleys. I laid an aqueduct of white limestone blocks and I made these waters flow along it. What were the plants in this mythical garden? We can best understand this from the depiction of gardens and works of art. From them, we understand that there were blooming flowers, ripe fruits, bubbling waterfalls, and terraces with rich greenery.